Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another vlog. I know. I know. I was hoping to have more games, uh, more videos recorded, but like I said last week, it's been a bit of a slog, and the last couple of days have been no different. A lot of it's been work-related, but um, here's hoping that that's the end of it for this time around. Because, fuck, am I tired of only making vlogs, man. <laughs> I got into this for making LPs, for fuck's sake. So this is annoying that this is the only thing I have to give you. But uh, I'm all showered, ready for work. If it wasn't for work, I'd be making the LPs right now. But it is what it is. Um, it's been a hectic time at work as well and I didn't really get into that mainly because I wasn't sure how much of it I could talk about uh but I feel fuck it <laughs> I can talk about it it's not like I'm naming anyone specific at least not yet so um as most of you know I am the manager the department head of a fuel station that is connected to a grocery store. Um, if you want to get real specific, it's Safeway, uh, which is over on the West Coast, uh, which is also owned by Albertsons. After their weird merger, it put them second in largest grocery chains, right under Kroger and Fred Meyer on the West Coast. So... I work with uh, a colorful cast <laughs> because of it being a fuel station. Uh, Oregon um, being one of the two states that has people like us pump the gas for you um, makes it a little weird for out-of-towners or whatnot to deal with that. But um, it provides jobs, it provides more uh, environmental security because we're making sure that uh, big puddles of gas are not getting into the environment because people did something stupid, which they are prone to do because it is the general public. But <laughs> uh, we also make sure that other incidences don't pop up like, uh, oh, this guy caught his truck on fire because he decided to get in and out of a vehicle and caused a static electricity buildup and touched the nozzle, set it all aflame, and then ran away, which you should have been doing in the first fucking place. But, um, yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that, that the Oregonian, uh, having organs, <laughs> I should rephrase that, mm, those Oregonian, uh, fuel center jobs there we go that's probably slightly better than what i was going to go for um allows us to keep from getting particularly crazy give me a moment i need to drink and i'm not sponsored by these people yet so there we go that way uh <laughs> that way i can still try and get a sponsor out of them anyway uh, <laughs> try and get a sponsor like I'm important enough to get a sponsor but then anywho because of that we have to have multiple people on staff and for the majority of last year I had a pretty solid crew more or less there were sometimes some issues some disagreements some uh, problems but nonetheless had a pretty decent crew then about october august somewhere in that ballpark um all started to kind of go awry um two guys who had been butting heads for a while because they have vastly different lifestyles i guess we'll say um, it finally came to a head 
when the one guy who had been here longer and was far more competent said something he shouldn't. Again, this would not be the first time he had an incident like this, but it was definitely the last time. And the other one took offense to it, brought it to uh, HR and corporate and everyone he could to try and get it dealt with. And the other employee was fired. It sucked. He was relatively well-liked amongst our uh, regulars, but it is what it is. We moved on. Or so we thought. Um, that coworker um, is local to where our gas station is, and he had had a friend who had joined our crew, who was also in a butting heads sort of problem with this employee. The friend had left. The one that remained had gotten fired. The problem, I shouldn't say problem, um, the source of these conflicts, there we go, that's better. The source of the conflicts had uh, believed that the other two were coming around to harass him. They never said any words to the guy. From the way I understand it. They never talked to him. They specifically tried to avoid him if they could. And just came in to get energy drinks. Which is a normal thing that we sell. Uh, in between uh, pumping gas and you know just shooting the shit usually. Because sometimes, especially due to COVID. We're just sitting there waiting for the next car. And there's only so much you can clean. And uh, it became a problem for the source of the conflict to constantly have them around, even though it wasn't constantly. It was every other day, if, you know, at all. And he decided, instead of the transfer that he had requested to a gas station that was closer to him, which we obliged, but we needed to find a replacement for him, he decided to outright quit. Okay. He then adjusted that outright quitting, so that way he had two weeks, and that two weeks being up, mysteriously... Prior to a number of dates that he had specifically tried to request off, but he did it at a time that I couldn't oblige him. I told him he would have to find a way to figure it out with someone else, because at that point, that was outside of what legally I can do through scheduling because of the Fair Work Week law in Oregon. I cannot touch the schedule after a certain amount of time, and any changes that need to be done need to be worked out between employees. I cannot just randomly change the schedule and fuck up everyone's day. That's better for them. It makes it easier for me to be like, hey, uh, I told you this specific day. That's how it goes. I'm sorry, but that's how it goes. It makes it easier on me because if they fail to uphold that schedule, it's on them. And just easier to, you know, keep everyone in line as well. So it has benefits and downsides. And in this particular instance, it did for this uh, employee. He then timed his two weeks so that way he would be out of it just in time for those dates. Don't know why. Never gave me a reason. He doesn't have to, but whatever. And then he started throwing a hissy fit when we did finally get a employee to work those days. Actually, we got two at the time. Um, and he got pissy, thinking that, oh, 
Are you trying to prematurely terminate me? To put it into perspective, he had requested the two weeks prior to that date off. I had to oblige him because he had done it through the proper channels, but never talked to me once. I didn't even know. I had scheduled him for those days. But because he went through the proper channels in the store, I had to leave it alone. So the rest of the crew suffered because he didn't tell me and didn't give me an opportunity to try and fix it. And then he throws a hissy fit when the last day of his two weeks I had given to someone else. Because I figured, well, he might not even show up for this. Fuck it. He then throws a hissy fit about it. I go, okay, well, whatever, I'll give you the day. And then he goes away. We replace him with the friend who had left, not the one who had been fired, because the firing was justified, basically blacklists him from the company. But the friend who had left had no such anything against him. All he left for was because he kept butting heads with the source of the conflict. We could bring him back, and it was fine. Then we struggled for another two to three weeks, if not more, to bring on another person. I, we tried. We finally got one. One at the time. Uh, the second one, the second one had a snowball effect of crazy happen to him. Uh, he got into a car accident. He ended up being relatively okay. The, just the car was totaled. Um, he then had to go to Arizona uh, because a family member passed. And at least it, in that respect, he had stayed in contact with us the whole time. I, I could not be happier about that. So he ended up working out just fine. But the problem is that he's still in high school. So... He's kind of limited in his hours until after he's out of that. So starting on the 25th, it makes it a little bit more complicated, but hopefully we find someone to replace the initial problems. And so far, I think we have. The other one, um, he didn't have necessarily the same tumultuous start, but it definitely had a tumultuous middle and end. Um, I say end because at this point he cannot work at our fuel station because he comes from basically across the goddamn state. He resides in a city that is very far away and pretty much right after he was hired, after a couple of days that he'd worked, he had uh, decided to go on a camping trip with his buddies and uh, ended up missing a day because he had no signal. He didn't even realize what fucking day it was. And uh, when, after that, he came in and he had symptoms that resembled COVID, but we found out later it wasn't. Thankfully, thank you, merciful fucking Jesus. That's the last thing I need in my fucking life. But he had a runny nose and a 101 fever. We had to send him home and hope that he got tested and could come back. He ended up getting tested, ended up working out. Uh, took a while to get that test because of how the pandemic is currently. But we find out later, fairly recently I might add, that his housing situation had... Uh, basically evaporated. The family he was living with at the time had cats. He had a dog that did not interact well with the cats, and he refused to get rid of the dog, so he had to move out. The way I understand it, he is currently with his parents, I think, and he currently has no car. The car he used to get to us previously was borrowed from the family he was living with. Now he has nothing. 
So he's kind of in a predicament where he kind of can't come to us, but he asked me if I can help with a transfer for him. I'm going to try the best I can. Um, that's not really looking good right now, but uh, we're going to try because finally finding a job and then being forced out of that job because your housing situation went to shit fucking sucks. And we're going to try our damnedest to try and help him. But it also puts us in a predicament in our crew where we needed more people and now we're losing them again. Luckily, we have one lined up. But uh, there, there's some drama involved with him as well. See, this is a friend of the friend of the one who got fired. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see the shenanigans I'm dealing with right now? The friend of the friend technically wasn't the initial one the friend was trying to get hired. The friend of the friend is actually the friend of the friend's brother. The initial friend of the friend... This is going to get really annoying real quick. <laughs> this fucking sort of way to keep names out of my mouth. Uh, was being helped by us to try and expedite the process uh, simply because we needed bodies really badly. So we tried to expedite the process as much as possible. We told him to call our hiring manager. We'll get the ball rolling, all of that. The friend of the friend uh, was told this through the friend because that was the only point of contact I had. I never knew the person. I never talked to him. Nothing. So the friend had told the friend of the friend all of this. The friend of the friend then proceeded to piss on the idea, piss on the friend, and essentially, I believe used the phrase, I don't need help to get a gas pumper job. Failure to listen, failure to accept outside help, and currently believed he was better than the job. That's three strikes. Fuck you. You're out. And that is that, at least with him. Because the friend didn't take the advice. Well, the friend of the friend didn't take the advice. The friend went to the brother. The brother took the advice. The brother got the job. The friend of the friend got pissy that the brother got the job. Called our hiring manager, asking... Why did he get the job and I didn't? And then the hiring manager tells me about it. I go, okay, that, that's funny. I, I wonder why that didn't happen. Let me go ahead and ask the employee who was trying to facilitate all of this and see where that went. At the time, she said, okay, see what's going on. I talked to the friend. The friend did not recommend the other one because of what had happened. I try to keep the drama part out and tell the hiring manager that there seems to be something really bad going on between this one and the friend, the friend of the friend and the friend, uh, which apparently they're no longer friends, but just for the sake of keeping the names together. Um, there's something bad going on between these two. We're just not going to go ahead with this. Just to keep the peace. We, we, the last thing we need is another situation like the source of the problem, friend, and then one that got fired. The last thing we need is that. So we're just going to keep that out. And uh, the hiring manager then proceeds to rip my head off. The hiring manager would have rather we discovered this later when another incident had happened. I ended up saving her that particular misfortune, and saving us that particular misfortune, and I get chewed out for it, called a bad department manager. 
I was pissed. I'm planning on trying to fix that later, but apparently this is something that she has a problem with a lot. So now I'm not pissed. Now I realize that this is just the way she does things. And maybe we can, you know, find some common ground on it. I didn't even get into the drama, but maybe with the drama, maybe then she'll understand. So, yeah, there's that. And there's some of the wonderful tales of being management. <sighs> with a bunch of fucking high schoolers, basically. High school never ends. Hi. Okay. I should stop. I was going to take a drink of my thing also. So give me a second. There we go. Much better. It's keeping me from killing people. Anyway. Yeah. That was my last few months. Hopefully it's done with. Hopefully. If the older brother of the one we hired comes along, I'm probably going to have to kill him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'm probably going to have to rip him a new one because he very clearly showed that he's not worth hiring. The other one was because the other one actually gave a damn and wanted to get hired. So... That's what we respect, at least my crew and at least my company. He seemed above it, so fuck him. As far as I'm concerned, fuck him. But, well, that's how it is. Anyway, that is my wonderful rant about work bullshit. So uh, I'm going to end this video because it is 22 minutes long. <laughs> Jesus, I went on for a long rant. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments to bring more people in this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next video. Uh, I goofed up a little bit in the middle there, but fuck it. It's whatever. This has been the one the only stray cat. Vlogging, playing games eventually, hopefully. And uh, talking about my weird managerial shenanigans because, trust me, when you're a manager of retail, it's nothing but shenanigans for you.